Hello YouTube, Texas Mason here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Xbox One because Xbox and Microsoft just released their Xbox One today and I'm going to be doing a quick recap of everything that got announced during the event and after the event because things also got announced after it was already over. Now the event only lasted 55 minutes and all the things that they talked about the Xbox was great. I actually did enjoy the event better than the PS4 event because... I don't know, it's just when they talk about hardware, it impresses me more than the software. That's what they showed in the PS4 event. Now I have it here, it probably doesn't show as good since the, the glare from the lights is on the monitor, but, and the camera is not so good, but that is the Xbox One. That is the trailer that the Xbox 360 has on its home page. And if you go to videos, you can watch it. That's that. But, let's go ahead and start talking about the Xbox. The first thing that I want to talk about is it has a cool TV commands. Now, the TV commands, it's awesome. The dude demonstrated by, he had the Xbox set up, I guess, obviously. And he would say, Xbox, go to watch TV. And then it'll switch to the TV where the cable is playing. And then it'll say, Xbox, go to music. And then it'll start playing music. And then... He'll say, Xbox, go to the Discovery Channel. He'll go to the Discovery Channel and say, Xbox, go to MTV. He'll change to MTV. And then they'll say, go to Internet Explorer. And he'll change to Internet Explorer. That is just awesome that you can control the TV and your entertainment and your entertainment place. I forgot what it's called. I can't remember. Your entertainment system, that's what I'm going to call it. You can control it with your Xbox and your voice. That is awesome to me. You can just walk into your house, Xbox, and go to MTV. And they'll change the channel for you. That is a cool thing. And I believe that's cool to me. Also, before I move on, I want to say that the Xbox is pretty it's pretty big if you didn't see it or if you saw it anywhere else on the internet. If you've seen the event yourself, the Xbox is pretty fat and kind of big. But I guess that's a good thing because it kind of lists the price since they didn't spend all their time trying to compact it all together. But still, it's kind of big. So if you're think of putting it in your desk or somewhere in your entertainment place then it'll take up a lot of space so you don't have to worry about that also it has Skype built into the system so you can be playing the game you can be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 1v1 and you can be playing you can be playing this person while you're on Skype with him that's just awesome right there I'm not, I'm not sure if you can actually see him while you're playing because you wouldn't want him to be him or her to be on your screen when you're playing but I do know that you can Skype them and you could just talk trash or you could talk non-trash to each other while you're playing the game. Hey there, come feed pal. What you doing? A video. And when you feed him, um, don't, don't use a lot of that uh, food because it costs a lot. So, but he hungry. Right. <laughs> I'm not even going to cut that out. I want to, every time someone walks in, I want you guys to see. But yes, that, I was talking about Skype built in. They have Skype built in, and I just think that's a cool thing. Also, they have a new Xbox One guide. Now, they announced this after the event, and they didn't announce this in it, but it kind of wasn't that important. It's just a small thing in your cable, which are, is kind of compacted with your cable. It's kind of like having an Xbox UI over your cable. So it's like having an Xbox Time Warner. I'm not sure. But that's that. They also it comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. That's enough RAM to con control your system. And since it has an eight core GPU graphics card built in to the Xbox One itself, so eight gigabytes should be able to handle all of it. I'm not even sure if the Xbox 360 has eight gigabytes. I think it has four, I'm not sure. It also comes with Blu-ray, which you probably know the Xbox 360 didn't have Blu-ray, the PS3 does. But now I guess Xbox and Microsoft has made sure that they have Blu-ray in this system because that was one of the main reasons that people said that the PS3 was better than the Xbox 360 because the Xbox One didn't have Blu-ray. We also, it comes with a 500 gigabyte hard drive which is more than enough memory for me because me I want to be using, I don't use that much memory now I have a 250 gigabyte Xbox I probably didn't even use 5 gigabytes of it but yeah the only reason I probably even haven't used two gigabytes of it but yes that's what I do I just have a few demos and I haven't downloaded any games to it but 
Yeah, it comes with 500 gigabytes, but I think that's that because when it comes to used games, buying used games, you can't use used games. If you buy a game the first time you use it, make sure it's in your game because if it's in your game, it'll activate with that game, download it to your system. And if you want to play it on another system, then I think you have to pay a fee to play it on your system. So, used games, it's not really, I don't really recommend using a used game so I just recommend buying your own game and also as I said once you use the used game you'll download some stuff to your system which is why I think they added all the storage or they probably just wanted storages and the Xbox One also has three different OS's OS's operating system they have the, the Xbox operating system and they have Windows kernel and they also have another OS that can make it switch between Windows kernel and the Xbox it's always quickly so I wonder what Windows kernel is going to be like on the Xbox and how it's going to be when you switch between operating systems also it comes with the Kinect now every Xbox One comes with the Kinect Microsoft is including it I don't even have the Kinect myself but I have used it a lot over my friend's house we go over there we play and it wouldn't be as good as we thought We'll have to try hard enough to get it to focus on us. We'll have to get in the box, wait a while. But yeah, but the from the presentation, it looked like the new the Connect was gonna be much better. And we it had features where it could detect how how fast your heart was beating. That's just awesome if it could do that. It could just it was just very fluent on the the, the new Connect. So I hope that the Connect is actually what it comes up to be, as they say. And yeah. So I hope that's good. Also, and it's a great thing that it comes with the Connect, but also that it comes with the Connect that may pull up the price more because you know the Connect I think it costs a hundred dollars now separate from the Xbox 360. So that'll be more money that we have to pull out of our pockets. Also, it has the same controller, almost the same controller. It looks a little bit bigger because of some things on the back, and it also has 40 new controls I think. It, um, it looks the same, but in the building of the controller has 40 new things that makes it different. They also have some things on the triggers to where I believe you can make the triggers vibrate and things like that. Just basic things like that. 40 new things and the developers that made the game can take advantage of this and make the controller more fun to play with. They also, you can sign it with your face. I hear that since it comes with the Kinect, the Kinect is a camera and then when you cut on your Xbox, sees your face and it automatically signs you in. You don't have to click your avatar like you have to do on the normal Xbox, Xbox 360. You can just sign in with your face. And that's all I have to recap. There's probably a little bit some more small things that I could talk about, but if you really want to go more deep, I really hit most of the more important things that I think you guys would care about. I looked at the demographics. I see you guys age. This is the stuff that I think you care about. And this new Xbox One will be available next no, will be available later this year, so we'll be competing with the PS4. I do believe that I'm going to get both of them, do a video over them, and whichever one I like the best, I'm going to keep. I might, in fact, keep both of them. I'm not sure. Just depends. Because my friends, I think they're going to get the PS4 because they don't like paying for Xbox Live. Cheap friends. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, YouTube. Let me go feed my dog. Thank you.